coffee is not even it for me. It's stopping in the middle of my video. I'm so aggravated. Like, tomorrow I get my new phone. Like, it's just like, everything is just against me. Like, I told her, like, I'm using her phone. I bought my daughter iPhone 11 so that she got her iPhone 11. And I've been waiting to buy my own phone. And I use her phone for my videos. And, like, it's just like, I feel like I have no help in this. Like, I'm by myself. They don't believe. They don't believe in my destiny. They don't believe in the truth of where I'm going. And it's, like, hurting me. Because it's like everybody else who says, you know, you are not this and you are not that. And um, let me just go into my spiritual corner because the minutes that I have. Guys, I haven't been here because I've been on bereavement. My brother passed away. Um, my brother passed away. I haven't seen my brother for 18 years. And the last time I saw him, I was at my sister's funeral. And um, I hadn't seen her in like eight years. So, um, not eight years, maybe three years. But, yeah. Yeah. So I had to take some time and I had to process. I had to process the emotions and the feelings and I had to process, you know, all of the things that, you know, I've experienced since I came to this country 26 years ago. Um, you know, there was times when I felt so alone because I separated myself from my family. I, I, I always told myself I separated myself from my family because of, um, the lack of love and the lack of unity and the, the lack of open arms that I never received as someone who didn't know them from anywhere. And so I just, you know, moved on to, you know, I made my friends my family. I love my friends, you know, more than anything else. And it's not about just my family. On my paternal side, when I came to America 26 years ago, I went to that area for five years. And it's not, it wasn't, it wasn't enough for me. It just was not. It's too small. It's too many people of the same. And it's not my type of lifestyle because I was raised as an only child for 10 years and um you know I was really close to my mom one-on-one -on -one, and you know it just it broke it, it broke me like coming to America it did break me but I decided I would never let anything break me and when I left I decided I would never go back so that's something that I thank myself for did I decide these things on my own I don't know but the way that I was treated um the the experiences that I had and the people that I was around none of it was attractive or appealing enough to last my lifetime okay and it's not been a lot of people places or things that have been you know that um that have touched me enough to last my lifetime um i've always felt like i was running i've always felt like i'm running from something like i'm trying to escape i need to get away i need to run i need to escape um, after becoming baptized and giving my life to um, God and, you know, um, exploring my Christianity and then just having some disillusions and moving into a wider um, terminology of spirituality, not just Christianity, going above and transcending my own beliefs, my doubts and my negativities. This form is something that I made up my mind that I would, you know, I would use this as my platform to spread love light blessings and joy um last year july it's been one year um last year um around june 28 29 2020 i decided that i was going to take up the mantle of the job that i've been sent here to earth to do and that is to help god's people to help people um spiritually to uplift you to pray for you to help you break um you know curses um um bonds shackles fetters whatever it is whether by prayer or by within my actions or whatever god places upon my heart to do but it's so hard because when you have a gift the gift is not for you and so generally that's what people say so i haven't really been able to help myself much i've suffered i've struggled i've been through a lot and through my separation and my struggle it's always been my um devout um log into adp bring up adp for me um, it's been my devout um, desire to um, surpass my, it's the same thing, to surpass my um, my barriers, my, my mountains and my obstacles. And so um, the month of June was that for me, like, you know, ending the battles and coming to a place of peace and finding myself and where I'll be able to find rest. Um, so July is my rest month where, excuse me, where I find peace and all of this. However, receiving the news of losing my brother, 
him. I never really gave him a chance. But then I don't think that I ever had the opportunity to give him a chance because we were blocked from, you know, the beginning. And so it hurts. It hurts me a lot. It hurts me to see him go. Um, it hurts. And I have prayed for his mortal soul and that his soul will return to the essence of our ancestors because that's where it is. It's a black hole with the essence of our ancestors and we go in there and we join with them and then we come back out, whoever it is, as...